all of the ECs are now installed. All right, we got everything connected and working. Now the next thing for BL Heli 32, and this is pretty much universal for all BL Heli 32 ESCs at this point, but there is something super cool that I've uh, recently discovered. Okay, here's an Android phone. Uh, we're gonna go to, check this out right here, BL Heli 32. Now, if you have a Bluetooth, I think you could do this kind of with a Speedy B possibly, uh, but these Samsungs, they come with these dongles right here. So we're gonna connect that. All right, we're gonna connect this for power. Connect USB. Okay. Connect. USB connected, and then we're going to read. And there we go. So this is giving us all our information, so we know we got all four connected. Now, let's do flash. So we've got 32.6 on here. So that's, these are all updated with the newest firmware, so we're good with that. I don't know what this, must be some new stuff that they're testing, and uh, I don't want to mess with that right now. All right, so we can see all our ESCs are Rev 32.6, so we're good with that. And if we go down here, we've got all four of our ESCs, and I know I need to switch one and four to normal, or uh, one and four to reversed. All right, and these are the LEDs. So, let's just, I'm not sure what this does, so we'll test it out. And we'll leave all the rest of that alone, and we will write that. There we go, so we got LED, I guess that's green, different colors. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. We got LED on there. Yeah, green, red, blue. So I guess we can turn on purple. Pretty cool. Well, actually, that's white, right? You get them all, that's white. This should turn it purple. And this is all done with the phone. It's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna leave it like that and we're gonna rock some pink props. So there you go. Now you can also mess with all this other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna leave it, because I started messing with some of this frequency and timing. Uh, I tell you what, we will do the frequency up to 48 kilohertz, and I feel like I was having some problems, so we will write that. All right, so we are good. Let's disconnect, pull that guy out, and there we go. Now we should be able to boot them up, and we've got all four going. Out, 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 out. All right, let's uh, hop into Betaflight and see if we can't get the telemetry stuff working. Here we are in Betaflight. Let's plug this guy in. So here we go, still the Skyliner. If we can get some connection, that would be great. All right, there we go, we've got connection. Let's go into Betaflight. Now, at this point, you've already been in the BL Heli 32 app that makes sure that your ESCs are all up to date. You got them spinning in the correct uh, direction. They've got the same firmware on them. Uh, these are BL Heli 32, we've got the 
uh, telemetry wires connected. Uh, this particular flight controller um, had them broken out right on the ends, and this was R2, so that was UART2, all right? And that's very important. You need to know what UART they all go to, and they all have to go to the same UART. Now, this flight controller is really cool because it has five available UARTs. That's why I figured this one would be a cool one to try. First thing you want to do is go to ports. Now, you can see I've got everything set up on this bad boy. Uh, we got a, a run cam controller right here for the camera control. We've got telemetry, we've got SBUS, we've got smart audio, and now we've got ESC telemetry. So here's our SBUS signal, right? We don't want to mess with that. I know I'm on R2, which is UR2. So right here in your sensor input, you need to select ESC. And you can see on three, I've got run cam. On four, we've got smart port telemetry. And then on five, we got smart audio. Save and reboot that. Next, go to configuration. Make sure you're running D-Shot, all right? I've been having some problems with some, a lot of noise, so I'm running 600 now, even on my Bailey Heli 32s. We need to go down to this section right here and enable ESC sensor, all right? After that, go to your power and battery. And this is, you wanna do this if you wanna use, you know, you wanna get more accurate amp reading. Select again ESC sensor and this will make your current meter All right, give you your amp amp reading on your OSD for the ESD sensor lastly, we'll go to OSD And you can turn on current draw again. Now this is going to be off of the ESC uh, telemetry data and then down here I just turn these on because these are the only other things that made sense. We got ES, ESC RPM and ESC temperature. I figured those are definitely ways we can verify that this is all working, uh, you know, because that board has an amp limiter in it anyway. So, but it, if set on ESC telemetry, if it's not working, this should read zero. All right. And this will, these will also read zero if you're not, if something's not quite right. Save that. And we're going to want to disconnect. All right. Now we can plug this guy into some, some power. And here we go. So, we can see right here our temperature is moving around. We still got zero there and zero there. Now, as we arm, we're spinning. And now we've got RPM and we've got our amp meter running. So let's give it some throttle. You can see that amp, or that RPM and all that rising. And there you go. That is how to hook up ESC telemetry into your flight controller. I mean, that's pretty simple. Now, I was going to do this all in one video, but at some point I uh, chose to split this up. So we've got, if you want to see how to build, how to install these specific RDQ ESCs, they're a video on their own now. And then uh, how to use the app, VLHI 32 app on Android and uh, setting up ESC telemetry. Uh, obviously, you just watched that because you're here. So so as always, thanks for watching. Keep burning some packs.